guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an interesting tutorial for you on how you can make your own summer slash vacation handbags using placemats. So the placemats I have to work with are all super cheap. This one is from the dollar store. This one also from the dollar store. And finally, this one is from Ikea. Also super cheap though, it's only $5.99. So let's get started. Okay, so the first bag up is this placemat, which I'm gonna turn into a clutch. So could I just like glue the sides closed and would that be okay? No, it wouldn't, because how would I fit my phone and my money in there? And that just wouldn't work out. Then as I was perusing the dollar store, I found these. And these are basically craft sticks or very large popsicle sticks. It would go perfectly just in the side. So first I'm just gonna trim these up to be the perfect size. I actually lined these up to make sure that I was getting the right height for the clutch. The next thing I did was I took another popsicle stick, I overlaid it to the right length, and I drew around the edge because I liked that rounded edge and I thought it would look really pretty. Next, I used basically whatever I had laying around to cut it that was easy. In this instance, this is actually a wire cutter, so that just shows you, you don't need a saw, just whatever makes your life easy. Cut along the edge, leaving a little bit of space so that you can sand it to the right shape. And then grab a piece of sanding paper and sand the edge down to be the right length and smooth and nice. As you can see here, the color is very, very pale. It looks like untreated wood and it is untreated wood. So I thought, how could I stain this a bit to just be a little bit more of a naturally aged color? So for that, I decided to use tea. Super easy, super cheap, and I let it sit for several hours. I then took the tea and with a spoon, just gave some light coats to the wood sticks and let them dry. I repeated this several times just to really deepen up that color a little bit. The color that it ended up with was perfect, just a little bit more tan, the perfect match for the purse. Next, this comes the sticky bit. So just slap on some E6000 in between those pieces of wood and then use these clippy thingies to clip them together to make sure that they're all stuck and nice and going to be straight I waited for the E6000 to dry 24 hours and then I glued in the sides. So again, just using that E6000, lining everything up perfectly, put some E6000 on the edge, lay it down and let that dry once more. So another 24 hours in between that. The final step is adding a magnet. I'd say this part is optional, but a good thing to do if you're planning on really using the purse. So again, with the E6000, applying a little bit of glue on each end, lining it up, popping it on, and voila! Your purse is complete. I'm gonna make out of these placemats. I have three of them, all from the dollar store, all $2.50. So total price is $7.50. I loved the design, they're double-sided. For the main outer side of the bag, I'm gonna use this side. Two of them I'm gonna be using as the outsides, like a so. And then I'm gonna use one as the base. So for the base, I'm actually gonna use this darker color because I thought that was more functional. I have this tried and true beach bag tote that I got from Sears circa 2007, maybe? <laughs> um, I remember I got it in this color and in hot pink and this one has come along with me all over the place to beaches across the world. So I thought this was super functional and I can copy it a bit to make the design. I'm not gonna copy the exact dimensions because the exact dimensions, well, they're just not the exact same, but they're pretty close, so this is what I'm going to follow. So the best part about this bag is you don't need to sew anything whatsoever. This is a no-sew fabric glue friendly project. 
And so that's what I'm gonna be doing for this. So I'm going to start out with the main sides of the bag. So I'm going to take two of the placemats, face them with the good side together. So by good side, I mean this is the side I'm gonna actually want on the outside of the bag. Fold in the sides of one. I'm gonna take my fabric glue. I'm going to apply it along this seam here, which is maybe a quarter of an inch. Stick that down. Take some clips that I have and just clip it all along the way. So the first set of glue on the edges is dried and I've just flipped this right side out. What I basically want to figure out is how big I need the base of this bag to be because I'm going to be using this third placemat for the base. I want to cut it as little as possible because to be honest, I'm not sure exactly whether or not it will fray or basically what will happen when I cut it. Like I really don't know. So I just want to make one slice across the material. To explain how I'm going to do the calculation here, I'm just going to take my placemat. If I were to put this right exactly in the center, I know that the side material needs to actually fill from right here all the way around to the underside of right here. And so what this basically equals is this plus this. So if I pull this over to the edge, this is exactly the width that it's going to end up being. Hope that makes sense. This is Delia Logic and Delia Math. So I'm going to pull this over to the side. Here is where it's marked. And then I'm gonna flip this over so it should be about here. But I'm gonna add an extra inch just in case because I'm gonna have a bit of a seam allowance, right? So I'm just gonna cut along that line and then I'm gonna start attaching the base of the bag to the rest of the bag. I'm gonna do that by gluing section by section starting on one long side. Again, applying a quarter inch section of glue along that edge connecting the two sides and then clamping them together using the paper clips. Just doing that all the way around, making sure there's no gaps and no holes. Looking good guys, looking good. I'm really excited for this. So um, I'm gonna let this dry for probably four hours and while I do that, I'm going to work on these straps for the tote. For my tote bag handles, I thought it would be perfect to use like a thick cording ribbon type material for the handles like you would in, in a normal tote bag. But downtown Toronto, I am limited. <laughs> so um, I found this rug binding material that I didn't realize was actually tape at the back. So I bought that thinking, oh, this would be perfect. But in reality, this is a type of tape that you iron on and I'm not convinced that if I get this wet, this is gonna stay not getting sticky. So that idea went out the door. My other option here is that I bought a purse that you're gonna see in the next tutorial because I used it for pieces. I bought it secondhand. And I thought it would be a great idea if I could, because I have limited options here, to use pieces of this leather to create the tote straps. Now, I'm not 100% sure how this is gonna go. Okay, so it's the next day and here is what I tried to create yesterday. It's just not holding together at all whatsoever at all. <laughs> I'm going to go on to my second option of just going back to the thrift store and finding a second handbag that has super cheap straps. Now I'm just going to take my little seam ripper and I'm just going to go through and rip these seams. Go figure. One down, three more to go. Okay, so now we have the straps detached. I'm just going to this time take some E6000 glue, which hasn't let me down so far. Applying a nice coat of E6000 here and stick them on. So now I'm just actually gonna leave this to dry. Um, I might put something a little bit heavy for a few minutes on it, just till this kind of sticks a little bit. Then I'm gonna flip this over and do the other side and then the big reveal.
And the next step is the third and last bag that I'm making today. And that is out of these beautiful straw placemats from Ikea. Again, $5.99 each. And they're just beautiful. So I thought this would be the perfect little, kind of like a tote, thought it would just be beautiful if I could add some straps that were a nice brown leather. I entertain buying leather pieces from a leather store that's nearby. But then I thought, would it be cheaper for me to buy a secondhand bag that has the perfect leather straps and then use those straps and attach them to my DIY bag? And so off I went to the Value Village and I did find a bag. So this bag is actually pretty ugly, <laughs> but it has the perfect straps that I was looking for. If I can just attach them to my bag, it would just be such a vibe and look so, so pretty. Okay, so to get started, I'm just going to lay out my placemats, one on top of another, get a feel for how they're gonna look, and then place one off to the side. Next, I'm going to start off with my trusty E6000 glue. I'm gonna apply it the whole way around with the exception of my 10 o'clock to two o'clock, where I'm gonna leave an opening because you know, it's a bag so it needs a slot. Next, I'm just going to apply that E6000 glue over about one and a half of the end strands. Next, I'm going to take my second mat and I'm going to place that down. You're going to want to put something heavy on top of it to really make sure that the two placemats are pressed down hard and they're going to be secured. And folks, this is why you should read because this is what I was left to in terms of how I can possibly put something heavy on this to let the glue dry. I needed something big and heavy and if I had books, that would have helped me, but all I had was this friggin' scrapbooking paper which wasn't doing the job. So took my ottoman and thank you ottoman for being my weight. So now while that's drying, I'm going over here where I'm going to work on figuring out the strap situation and how I can detach these straps from the bag while keeping the stitching intact. As you can see here, I'm trying to cut out the uh, straps with scissors and it is so hard. There were so many different layers and it just was not working properly, taking me literally forever. So I decided to switch to a seam ripper. It was much, much easier and worked just fine. Finally, I've got my two straps detached and I'm just going to attach them to my bag now. I'm gonna insert some colored paper clips in the edges of the 10 and two, just to make sure that I can place the straps symmetrically. I'm gonna apply some E6000 and just stick those on. Fun fact, I actually used my uh, face cream and a candle stick to weigh these down while they dried a bit. Then I'm just gonna flip this over, do the same thing on the other side and the purse will be done. Hope you liked how some of these turned out. Let me know below which one was your favorite. Also, if you like me, you're mildly interested in my content, check me out on Instagram. My handle is DIYDelia with an underscore at the end. You can also subscribe to me on YouTube if you want to see more of my content. Okay, so until next time, bye.